Well, Lions fans, we know that Jalen Reeves Maven was drafted by the Detroit Lions in 2017. He was signed to a one-year deal last offseason to reunite with the organization. Uh, following a brief stint with the Houston Texans in 2022, Dan Campbell was extremely excited to have this guy back on this team. Uh, it ended up being, you know, one of the better moves that the Lions made, according to multiple sources and news outlets and fans alike that think that Jalen Reeves Maven really uh, outdid himself this past season. Uh, one of the best special teamers even made the Pro Bowl as a special teamer this last season, uh, and even as a rotational linebacker for the Detroit Lions defense. He was named to a second team All Pro and earned his Pro Bowl honors this past season, in addition to being named a team captain. But because of his contributions on the field, and in the locker room, the Lions just inked a major deal with Jalen Reeves Maven last month, uh, a two-year deal worth $7.5 million, the largest deal of its kind for a special team's primary player. Very, very strong commitment by the Detroit Lions to a player that only played less than 10% of all defensive snaps in 2023. But today's video is not so much about what Jalen Reeves Maven is doing on the field, it's now what Jalen Reeves Maven is doing off the field. Uh, the NFL Players Association just announced today that your Detroit Lions linebacker and special teams ace, Jalen Reeves Maven, is now the union president for the NFL Players Association. Uh, he succeeds former center J.C. Treader, uh, who just concluded his second two-year term as the NFLPA president. This is the second leading role in which uh, the Players Union has experienced change in the last nine months. And last July, the NFL Players Association selected a new executive director in Lloyd Howell, a former leader in the corporate world who now Jalen Reeves Maven will be working side by side with to work on all of the, the issues that pertain to the NFL and, um, you know, the players. Uh, Treader had held that, that presidential role since 2020 and helped the players hammer out a new 10-year CBA, collective bargaining agreement, uh, while also navigating the NFL's COVID season. Treader had also uh, made it his mission to make the players' voices heard. And in the last two years, the NFLPA released team reports and report cards in an effort to hold our owners accountable in the area of working conditions. As president, though, your Detroit Lion, Jalen Reeves Maben, will be working, like I said, hand in hand with Howell to provide leadership for the executive committee and the entire NFL player body while advocating for members during discussions, negotiations, and grievances. Uh, with the NFL over working conditions, policies, and the collective bargaining agreement while also educating players on their rights. Look, this is a, a big honor for Jalen Reeves Maven. I had no idea that, you know, he had this in him to take on a, a, a major role. Um, you know, one that that really involves a lot. Uh, there, there's a lot going on with the collective bargaining agreement. The NFL is pushing for an 18th uh, game now in the regular season. Uh, and these are issues that the Jalen Reeves Maven is going to have in front of him and, and we'll have to, you know, find good resources and be a good resource uh, for the players that, you know, uh, you know, end up filing any sort of grievances during their time in the NFL. Uh, a few comments from fans is, you know, hey, may the NFLPA and owners continue to work together and find solutions for the health of both the game and the players as a whole. That was Rob G about a half hour ago. Zane uh, H says massive Jalen Reeves Maven fan. Good for him. Uh, Brian O says, will stadiums move to grass fields and will running backs continually get screwed by the market? Should should be his only issues. I think there's a few more issues than that. Um, you know, the, I think that the running back contracts is, you know, going to be one of the, the talks that are going to be pounded on the table here soon in the collective bargaining agreement moving forward. And then not only that, but tight ends. You know, you're seeing a lot of passing tight ends that are pretty much receivers in the NFL, uh, namely, you know, Kelsey and now Sam Laporta. Uh, but they're paid one third of what wide receivers, uh, you know, end up making throughout their career. So interesting move by the uh, the players and the, the NFLPA uh, to select Jalen Reeves Maven to be the next union president. And congratulations, man! I mean, this is a huge honor. You are now representing the entire NFL. Uh, way to knock it out the park, dude. Um, yeah, you know that I wasn't extremely high in your contract, but that doesn't mean you're not a good dude and that you're not going to do great things. And this is just one more thing uh, that you get to do and, and leave a legacy behind in the NFL with not only being a special teams ace, uh, but having this opportunity is incredible. Uh, I mean, even your work after the NFL, this is something that is going to help set up Jalen Reeves Maven for a long time. So anyway, congrat congratulations to uh, Jalen Reeves Maven. And that's all for today's video on player updates uh, around the league. All right, y'all take care. Go on pride. Go Detroit Lions. We'll see you 8 p.m. tonight. All right. Bye-bye.